Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. two homes and that's stressful i need so much help he bought a town home before selling his money pit i would love to have the house sold yesterday but this house is not livable someone is gonna fall straight down oh, uh, i can't win looks like a job for critical listing you know you gotta work it work it work it <laughs> I'm real estate agent Lisa Kolalilo, and I'm meeting Andrew. His current home is nowhere nearby already, and he's closing on his new home in less than a week. From what I understand, you're in a bit of a bind right now. Yes, I moved back into the country about a year ago, year and a half ago, ready to move into a new build that I had purchased, and it wasn't ready. I've had at least three false starts with the new build, where I thought I was going to be able to move in, and then at the last minute, found out that they need a bit more time. When you buy a new build project, it can be very risky because you actually never know when you're really going to close on the home and move in. Five months turned into seven months, turned into a year, turned into a year and a half. Still not ready. So I purchased this house in the intro and started renovating. But the renovations took longer than I expected. Probably made it halfway through, maybe a third of the way through. But there's still a lot of work that needs to be done and obviously not a lot of time if I'm moving in five days. So we've got 50% of a house that still needs to be renovated and five days until your new home is going to be ready for you to move in. Now you know why I called you. What are you hoping to get after this house is completed? Well, I'm hoping to get at least 650,000 plus or more. Or more, <laughs> naturally, or more, why not? If I was doing this on my own, I think I'd be here the rest of my life. I don't think there is an end in sight at the present time. What's really important here is to see what the timeline is going to be to get the work complete and then try and shorten that as much as possible so that you're not carrying two mortgages for too long. Why don't I go inside, take my tour, and I'll meet you out here in a few. Okay, great. Okay, thanks, so much. thanks Andrew. This is a really cute front yard. It's got good curb appeal. It's a great front yard, but I can already see unfinished projects and a railing issue. I mean, someone is gonna fall straight down, and that is not good. The hardwood looks really nice, so he's updated that. But you can't show a house with wrapped furniture. I mean, it makes it look unlivable. Railings again. There's a bike in the kitchen. To think I could renovate a house in my spare time, I think, was a bit ambitious. Potential buyers are going to like the work that he's done in terms of updating this space. The lighting is new, the appliances are new, and then you get the countertops. This is horrible. I've heard that plywood is not currently the in thing in real estate. Something needs to be done. I mean, this is not a livable space. This is a really cute spot. And they've got a parking pad, huge amounts of value. Uh, another unfinished project. The back of the house is half renovated. It's just not functional at all. Andrew! Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh. Great size room, good light, needs a paint job. So this is the master bedroom, and it's the only finished room in this entire house. That's a good space, though. Let's check out this basement. Oh. I mean, on the bright side, it's a very generous sized room. The exposed brick is gorgeous and adds so much character. But all this stuff, the materials and the junk, it just doesn't show well. The potential buyer in this neighborhood is going to look at your house and take substantial dollars off of their offer for every unfinished project. And there's a lot of unfinished projects in this house right now. For sure. We need to actually get you in that $650,000 mark or more. Yeah. If we were to put it on the market today, you'd probably get only $500,000 for it. Wow. 
So my next question to you is, how much money do you have as a renovation budget? I can find another $23,000 if you think it's gonna really push the value up. What I think we can do with that is tackle some strategic rentals and get you the most amount of money for this house. The next step will be to call in Joe and Carson, have them take a look at the house and see how quickly we can get this project completed so you can move into your new home. That would be great, that's why I called you. <laughs> okay, Andrew, we'll see you soon. So, $23,000 for materials to increase this home's value by $150,000. I need design and landscape experts Joe Alcorn and Carson Arthur to help me with this rescue mission. Let me tell you the situation that our bachelor has gotten himself into. He bought this and immediately started gutting it. A year later, there's still a lot that's incomplete. And in five days, now he's going to be holding two homes. Ouch. He knows that we can't finish this and sell it in five days, yeah, right? for sure. So what is this house valued at now? Currently, I have evaluated the house at $500,000, and he needs, on the other end of it, $650,000. Whoa, <laughs> that's a $150,000 jump. How much money do we have to spend? The renovation budget that Andrew has is $23,000. In material costs, shared. Whoa. Then what are we looking after here? Joe, I need you to take a look at some of the unfinished projects on the main floor and then that front part of the basement. Carson, in this area, potential buyers, they're very outdoorsy, very active, love to socialize and entertain. That backyard needs your special touches. Okay. Okay, well, I want to take a peek inside now. Take a look, <laughs> be safe, and good luck. What does that mean? Not a good thing. No. Oh, I now see the safety issue Lisa's talking <laughs> or about. lack of safety issue, oh. yeah. Okay, let's go downstairs first because I'm a little nervous to go up here. Okay. Oh, this is a really interesting room. I have to address this floor because this is not a nice floor for potential <laughs> buyers to see. I can have a lot of fun down here and it can become a really cool bonus living space. All right, this should we continue be, the tour? Yes, and I'm definitely gonna have to add a railing to keep it to code. Families are coming in here, so railing has to be added here. So you have to do a railing here and down below. Yes. Then I need a railing here, so that's three, three railings. railings already. <gasps> oh, I love this kitchen. Yeah. This is stunning. I love the countertops. Plywood's always a good look. Andrew has started some good scenarios for me to play off of, so I'm excited. All right, before you start spending all the money. Oh, I love it. Let's go outside. You know what? First impressions got a lot of character. We've got a little eating area here with a big plant bed, which is a little bit odd. That's ugly. <laughs> Well, that's part of the house, so this is yours, right? This is the outside of the house. That has nothing to do with the inside. I'm gonna have to deal with that wall, make that look a lot better. But I think my biggest issue is up here. Oh. Yeah. This parking pad, it takes up two thirds of the yard. I need to make this space more multifunctional. Then it's gonna work for new homeowners. Let's go talk to Lisa about the money. Okay, so what are you thinking? What kind of numbers are we talking here? Well, if I'm finishing the kitchen and the main living space, then dealing with the basement and three railings, I could maybe do it for $15,000. If I'm doing the backyard, make it look good, and rejig the driveway, I need at least $10,000. But that puts us up to $25,000. We only have $23,000. Okay, so, I mean, can we do nine and 14? Are you okay with that? Yes, I'm okay with that. Okay, we got our $23,000 spent. Let's go. Okay. Creating a multi-purpose outdoor space, finishing the basement renovation and the entire main floor of the house for $23,000 is going to be tough. Ugh. Originally, this space was landscaped. Somebody spent a lot of money on this backyard, but now it's sort of showing its age. What I'm doing is adding more living space, just really ratcheting up the whole backyard. It's cold out. Yes. So Andrew bought this house as a fixer-upper and clearly has not finished anything, hence why we are here. And really, he has good bones here. We just need to complete what he started. It's in good shape. Most of the projects are at least started. First things first, the non-existing railing, which is very, very scary right there. What is that, like a 10-foot drop? It's pretty dangerous. We'll just put some 2 by 4s up, make a temporary railing while we get everything else sorted out. OK, perfect. Oh my god, you're freaking me out. Want to hear my 
chocolate. Yeah. $9,000 of my budget will be spent on countertops and a backsplash worthy of Andrew's kitchen cabinets. And $500 will create an inexpensive fireplace focal point for the living room. Andrew's pre-selected broadloom and a $4,000 plexiglass panel will keep the basement bright and eliminate safety hazards. I love it. I mean, it's already a colossal improvement from how Andrew left this place. I'm excited. Yeah. OK, I'm going to go check on Carson. Oh, you need your jacket. It's freezing out. Especially yeah, if you're best. talking to Carson, he's going to talk your ear off. So are you all talk or you got something to show me? Well, I have good and bad news. Now, the good news is one of the original homeowners spent a lot of money in landscaping. OK. The bad news is Andrew didn't look after any of it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to increase the entertainment opportunities throughout the backyard. I'm starting with a dual-purpose parking pad complete with a $2,000 pergola. Next, we'll expand the existing patio with a soldier course of Wyerton flagstone and reface the exterior wall of the house, all for $7,000. I think that would totally work for pretty much any buyer. And you can admit it, my backyard makeover is going to be way better than Joe's inside one, right? Well, let's see what actually happens <laughs> back here first. You so take the political high road. Yeah, you Nicely know. done. OK, boys. Let's cover the walls with primer and finish the job Andrew started, so I don't need to look this hideous color anymore. Great. Oh. <laughs> Elder, this is an easy day today. All we're doing is we're expanding this patio. We're going to put a band of stone around it to increase the square footage, allow more people to sit out here. Sounds good. Yeah. and me why we're patching up Andrew's money pit, he's showing me his new move-in ready bachelor pad. Why don't you come up and take a look? Yeah. Hey, you got a railing. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my home. The new bachelor pad. <laughs> so kitchen, complete with counters. Have you used the stove yet? I haven't used the stove, the wrapper stove. <laughs> Living area. Ah. Oh. And you can tell I've got unwrapped furniture yeah. now. This is amazing. I really like the open concept. It's perfect for a bachelor pad. To go upstairs? With a railing! Yes! Yay. I feel safer already. <laughs> you can tell I haven't uh, set up my bed yet. You got lots of bright, natural light, which is really great. And it just, like, opens up the space, too, right? Am I concerned? I'm absolutely concerned. I've already been faced with the reality of two mortgages having uh, made my first payment two days ago. I'm definitely seeing the bank account starting to deplete a little bit. I'm not going to feel totally settled here until I sell the other house. It's a stressor having to carry the two mortgages. I can see now just how important it is for us to finish all the renovations so that Andrew can sell the house, get top dollar, and just move on with his life. Oh, is this my fireplace? So that's my ethanol insert. That's it. I can't afford gas, but this is just as beautiful. And it's a quarter of the price. Oh, I'm excited for this. Yeah, it's going to be good. So, well, bam. Nice. The whole space is going to have black trim, mm -hmm. white walls, and then this backsplash. Are you ready for my fabulous countertop? Give it to me. Carrera. Marble's beautiful choice. That's going to add so much value. I love it, but it's very expensive. I really can't go with low quality stuff in here because we have these fabulous cabinets and, you know, we're trying to paint this whole beautiful aesthetic all the way through. I can't put in a cheap countertop. I agree. I think it's going to look great. Yes. For Andrew's pergola, I'm doing something a little bit different. This space is for both parking and for entertaining. So I'm putting lights at the top of the post to shine down. It's going to be ambient lighting, sort of mood lighting. Ordinarily, you'd put light at the bottom of the post shining up, but that's a little bit too dramatic. So I'm going to go a different route altogether with this space. Dude, what the hell is that? It's our new canopy. <laughs> because we were building a sauna on the back of the house? What happened? We got to the wrong temperature to lay stone. So because the temperature dropped, we have to heat the inside of that little tent? It's the only way to slow cure the concrete. So the stone will stick? That's correct. I'm dying on this project. It's killing me. Oh, we got light. Good job. There you go. What are you guys doing? We're lighting the fire. No way. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, come join us. Amazing. Oh, here we go. Flame is coming. Who's got marshmallows? Wait. <laughs> I feel a little heat. 
It's not going to heat the whole house. It's for ambiance. It's not bad. <laughs> M budget. Hello. Oh, Hi. Oh, yes. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Give me that box. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was at home in my PJs, relaxing, and you guys are here working hard, and I thought, I'm going to bring some pizza. Oh. That's you didn't want to change before? <laughs> well, time is of the essence. Go, go, That's go, 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 true. Go, go, go. Yes. Yummy. 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 How's everything going here? Berto got almost all the wall done. Berto, so it looks, Berto. Yeah, yeah, it looks fantastic. So I don't want to tell you my list that still needs to be done. I probably don't want to know right now. You don't. No, me neither. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hey. Everything's cleaned out. Yeah. I can appreciate this room a little bit more. Yeah. And now we have this big honking thing of carpet we're going to work on. <laughs> Getting too close. Oh, this actually looks quite comfy right here. Hey, Joe. Hi. We have some changes since last night. Yeah, you guys have actually done a lot. Look at my amazing countertops. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stone. Oh, I know. Yeah, and I mean, that tile work that you've done in the back, it's amazing. I mean, especially in such a modern kitchen, it just adds that touch of personality and character, which is something that buyers in this area totally love and are willing to pay for. Plus, it makes it look so expensive. You got it. We still have to finish painting, painting the walls, the trim. Downstairs, just a few little things. I know when potential buyers see the finished project, it's going to sell like hotcakes. Love it. <laughs> OK, I'm going to go check on Carson. Ooh, everyone's hard at work. Hello. <laughs> Before, potential buyers would have looked at that mess and thought, what the heck is wrong with this house? Now it looks stylish and modern and everything that the buyer's willing to pay for. This isn't even done yet. It's gonna look even better. Nice. But unfortunately, that's sort of the theme for the rest of the yard. We're not done yet. Really? Not even close. All right, here's what we have finished. Okay. We've got a band of stone around the patio. Yeah. So we've bulked up the size of the patio, but this weather's killing me right now. It's gonna look even better, but we're just not there yet. You'll notice that we've got the framework in. The posts are up. Did you see these? Oh my god, you put lights. Yeah, well, I wanted it for outdoor entertaining, but if you're parking out here too, I mean, it's a safety issue. These are the rafters. They are going on the roof. Yeah. So these just have to go up, and then that's yeah. it. Well, we have to measure them out, and then they have to go up, and then, you know, just lots of little things. We got to go. We got to, like, we got to work it, you know? Work it, work it, work it, you know? Carson and Joe have worked tirelessly to get Andrew's house ready to sell. A situation now past critical. No peeking, OK, because we're going to go to the basement first. OK. OK, take a look at the new basement. God, it looks so different. It looks amazing. Yeah, it's not a scary basement anymore. It's inviting and it's vibrant and it's ready for someone to enjoy. It feels so bright down here. It doesn't feel like you're in a basement. You know, I could totally see myself living here now. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go look at the upstairs. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK, because I'm going to need you to close your eyes again. All right. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know where to look. <laughs> Seriously, this doesn't look like my house at all. <laughs> I love the fireplace. Yeah. That definitely wasn't there before. <laughs> <sighs> this space right now, it's modern, but at the same time, it still has that character and personality. And it's move-in ready. There's nothing that the buyer has to do in this house anymore. They can just turn the key, put their clothes and their furniture in here, and enjoy. I'm feeling so much better. You have no idea. Good. I'm glad that you're confident. Now let's take a look at the kitchen. It looks so spectacular. This isn't plywood anymore. Yeah. You could actually sit here and eat breakfast and not get a sliver in your hand. I guess prospective buyers are going to have the benefit of this, and unfortunately not me. You know, it was feeling very dark before with the cupboards. I never would have imagined doing something like this. And take less than a year and a half to finish it? I can't believe you did it in weeks. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. It's amazing. Holy jeez. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It looks like a different house. Yeah, that hole in the wall was really decreasing the value of this home. Now, it's not even a concern because it's been taken care of and it aesthetically looks very pleasing. If you look over here, 
Carson added another layer of the stonework. We've now extended the number of people that can enjoy this space at one time. Love that. The next space in the backyard, which is a dual purpose parking pad as well as outdoor space. I'm so impressed. What do you call this? This is a pergola. It's amazing. Pergola. You even have the lights, so you can be out here at night. Sets a little mood. I always wondered what to do with this space. We needed to maintain the parking pad out here because this adds tons of value to your property. That's great. Carson has just doubled the size of your lot because now you can actually use this space. And yep. that is valuable. Amazing. Totally floored. I imagined it finished. I imagined railings. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I didn't quite imagine that it would look so spectacular as it does. I now know what a pergola is, and I'm <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> you had spent about a year and a half on trying to finish this house, and it still wasn't livable. So I had evaluated your home at $500,000. Believe me, that number's kept me up for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. After your $23,000 investment that Joe and Carson have used to finish every project in this house and make it not only livable, but beautiful. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Today, your house is worth $650,000. Oh, oh, awesome better. news. Congrats. Oh, that's much that's better true. news than the last yeah. time. Yeah. $650,000 freaking dollars. That's amazing. Now, it's finished, it's polished, and it's perfect for a new buyer. It feels like a home, which it didn't feel like before. I'm forever indebted to those three. Is there anything I can help you guys with while I'm here? Yes. Oh, I was hoping you weren't going to say that. You know what? You can paint the trim. There you go. You got that ready really fast. Here we go. Watch my masterpiece, guys. Watch the skills. Looking good, Lisa. You might want to speed it up a bit. You have a lot to do. 